I'm making a dish called white adobo, a delicious soy-free version of the well-loved adobo with a lighter appearance. It is tangy and savory with white vinegar, garlic, peppercorns, and bay leaves. Let's start by cutting the meat into one and a half inch pieces. It's crucial to have a sharp knife for precise cuts. I'm using my Nakano knife, which is incredibly sharp and efficient, making this task a breeze. Next, season the meat generously on both sides with salt. Don't forget to season your chicken pieces as well to make sure every bite will be full of flavor. If there is any excess fat, feel free to trim it off to keep the dish lean and delicious. Grab your pan or any pot with a wide flat bottom and coat the base lightly with a neutral flavored oil like canola or olive oil. Arrange the pork belly in the pan, making sure to spread the pieces apart in a single layer to ensure even browning. Sear them over medium-high heat until each piece is nicely browned on both sides. It's crucial to give them a good sear for that added depth of flavor. After the pork is nicely browned, make room to sear the chicken. You're looking for the same golden brown goodness on each piece. Place the chicken in the pan, skin side down first to get that skin nice and crispy. Once it's achieved a beautiful golden brown, go ahead and flip each piece to sear the other side. Once both sides of the chicken are nicely seared, transfer them to the plate. Get rid of any excess oil. You can easily do this by dabbing it with a paper towel or you can simply pour it out. Next, add your smashed garlic and saute them until they become fragrant. Keep them moving in the pan so they don't burn. If your pan is too hot, lower the heat a bit to keep everything under control. Then, throw in your crushed or whole peppercorns. Let them bloom to release their aromatic oils. Do this for about a minute or until you start to smell the peppery aroma. Return the seared pork belly to the pan. It's time to start building those flavors. Add in the vinegar. Coconut or cane vinegar would both give that authentic touch. Also, pour in a cup of water. Use fish sauce or just plain salt. And a bit of sugar and don't forget the bay leaves. Mix everything well to combine. Once it begins to boil, cover and reduce the heat to medium allowing it to simmer and infuse the flavors for around 30 minutes. Snuggle the chicken in between the pork. Continue to simmer for another 30 minutes or until both the chicken and pork are perfectly tender. It's good to check periodically to make sure it doesn't dry out. If it seems to be getting too low on liquid, don't hesitate to add a bit more water as needed. Toss in the green chilies, letting them infuse their flavor into the dish for about five more minutes. I'm adding green chilies, not a usual ingredient, but I love the slight kick and extra flavor they bring to the dish. And now, give it a taste and adjust the seasoning to your preference. And that's how you make delicious white adobo. It's a flavorful, comforting dish, especially with white steamed rice. Let me know how it goes and share your own tweaks and additions. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in elevating your cooking experience with the precision and efficiency of Nakano knives, click the link in the description below. Don't miss out on the sweetest deal.